Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and thank you for watching. So today I'm going to finally be doing it, the Alamar Cosmetics Rene de Caribbean. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'll never know how to pronounce this palette. But just a review of the Alamar Cosmetics palette that just recently launched. And this was in the um, the most recent BoxyCharm, the June BoxyCharm. I like forgot what month it is. Um, so yeah, that's how I got this. I got this in a BoxyCharm. And um, you can buy this obviously on the Al Alamar website. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it is, but I'll have that on the screen. And this will be linked down below to purchase if you're interested. Um, so just a quick first impression of this palette. I've been using it a few times over the past few weeks. And um, I think the color selection, you get eight shades total, four shimmers, and four mattes. Um, I think the shimmers are probably the most pigmented and creamy um, shades that are in my collection. Um, I like that they can be either an everyday, like these two here, or pops of color. Same with the mattes, are super creamy, super blendable, super pigmented. Um, and they can um, also be used for just everyday wear. So there's a lot of versatility with this palette. And the packaging itself is really cute. It's like a little book, um, just a bright solid yellow all around. The inside is super floral, like it's super fun, super cute for summer. Um, if you don't have this, I highly, highly recommend that you go and purchase it. It's a really good palette and it's a really good one for a summer too. So I'm just going to do a quick look with this. Um, I don't really play with the blues much, so I might do like pop that on the lower lash line. But I'm also going out to dinner with family, so I don't want to be too crazy. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we come up with. If you want to see me create a look with the... Alamar Cosmetics palette, then just keep on watching. So, I already have like my entire face done. My eyes are already primed with my NARS um, eyeshadow primer and set down with a translucent powder. So, I'm going to go in first with Coco Taxi in the crease. And there's not, not even enough, there's not like a whole lot of kickback which I know is a problem with some people, not so much for me, I really don't care. But I'm just going to place this all over my crease, just a nice wash of color. This orange isn't too pigmented, like it's a really, really good transition shade. And you can also build this up too. These colors are really um, buildable. Then I'm going to, just with the same brush, go in with Tropico. It's like the kind of burnt red shade. This one has a lot of kickback. Um, and then I'm just going to put this all over the crease again. Super low in the crease as well. Um, I'm being kind of messy with it because I think I'm going to do like a half cup crease. So I'll clean this all up with concealer. another fluffy brush I'm going to go back into the Coco Taxi shade and kind of blend this out a little more so it's not as harsh and the Tropico shade is a lot more pigmented than Coco Taxi so it kind of was a little overpowering and I didn't want to lose the orange in this Okay, so I'm gonna um, just do like a half cut crease with concealer and I'm gonna just do that off camera real quick and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go in with La Costa here, actually. 
I'm gonna go in with El Malicon instead. In just places everywhere I put down the concealer. And then I'm just going to take the fluffy brush and kind of blend out the harsh line here a little bit. I'm going to take a smaller um, blending brush and go in with a little bit more of Tropico. like a flat definer brush I'm gonna go in with cafecito the dark brown and just pack this in super super tight along my lower lash line and a pencil brush I don't know if I want to go in with a Veradero or a Celia on the lower lash line. I'm going to do Celia, so like the lighter of the two blues. <laughs> Celia color has, well it's coming off to me, like it has a little bit of a green undertone, which the El Melicon shade definitely has a little green tint to it. So this pairs well together, I think. I'm just going to take like a little bit of cafeco, or cafecito, I mean, and just put this on the very outer V. I just felt like it needed a little bit more definition. I'm just going to go back in one more time with this blending brush and I'm going to take La Costa and put this on the inner corners. And then I'm going to put like a little bit of that on the brow bone too. Not too much because I don't really want to emphasize my brows too much because I need them done, but I'm just going to go in with this NYX Wonder pencil and put this on my waterline just to kind of brighten my eyes a little bit. I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. So that completes this look using the Alomar Cosmetics palette. Um, if you guys like this look, be sure to let me know down below in the comments and um, what you think of this palette as well. If you've got it, if you plan to get it, you know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.